So, on today's chopping block we have our new parasites, I mean traders, uh, material traders who work, as they say, with barter system, i.e. materials that exchange for other materials. Mm, sure, okay, now this feature does help with grade 5 material acquisition, like data mine, vague exceptions and others, but this should not be celebrated. Hopefully, you're not fooled and realize that now devs have an excuse in-game to still have this sort of gameplay, where you spend hours doing nothing and hoping for RNGs to just spawn in the unicorn dust. No, I say, this is horrible gameplay. This should never exist. Damn, a fellow viewer and supporter of mine, Followtech, once spent the whole evening over 5 hours searching for Core Dynamics materials in proper system, but nothing, not a single thing. And personally, I can tell you, I've had the same, um, luck. Seriously, is this gameplay? Tell me! Now please, remember this every time you, any of you, want to say that Material Trader is good. Okay? Can you do that for me? Anyways, let's talk Material Trader, a decent idea in core, but once more, it's all in the numbers, my friends. So, as devs themselves have mentioned, you can use materials you have to get the ones you need. Simple, right? Well, this implies that you can either exchange materials from greater or lower grades. And yes, you can do that, but in reality, exchange rates are so disgusting that it's not worth exchanging upwards. That is, exchanging lower grade materials for higher grade ones. And as is, the current system is so despicable that you can't even exchange a full load of grade 1s for a single grade 5, while grade 2s can barely reach the limit. But seriously, 1200 units for one grade 5, is, is this a joke? And it becomes worse if you look at different row grade ones. 7,776 units for one different row grade 5? Are devs just taking the piss now? Oh, and if you use grade 5s to get lower tier ones, well, exchange rate's not 1 to 6, it's half that. So why are the rates so insane? Some of you might use the lore or story or roleplay arguments. You know, it's just like in real life, currency exchangers. They, you know, take their cuts. And immediately I smell excrement after hearing that. And if you want to use this as an argument, wouldn't the difference between buying or selling be small? Otherwise lawmakers would take every single exchanger by the balls and use the mighty hammer of justice. So no, the lore aspect works just as well as sandpaper, instead of toilet paper. Now, if you argue that from gameplay balancing perspective it must limit player stagnation, where players use one gameplay aspect to farm materials to later exchange, instead forcing them to do many different things, well then I ask, have you forgotten about this? Seriously, if you want to tell me about gameplay balance, then please, by all means, first tattoo the word HYPOCRITE on your forehead. Now, let's talk about risk and reward gameplay, a game design aspect that Elite is not very familiar with. Basically, for today's topic it will imply that a player is given a choice between slow and steady versus skill and speed. That is, you can do a simple thing that guarantees you to get what you need, but it'll take time. For example, driving on a planet's surface. Or you can get what you need faster by performing something risky or difficult. Say, killing a Corvette NPC. Now, in a rather decent game, you'd had faster methods, save up time, but wouldn't leave the turtle gameplay behind too much. So, ask yourself, how long does it take for you to collect 7,776 units of, say, chemical storage units? Or even 1,200, counting in also the time that you need to go and exchange every 300 units. And answer me this, how long does it take, in comparison, for you to get one pharmaceutical isolator? Even though you have to prey on your knees upon the naked body of RNGs for that holy spunk! It'll still take tons faster than getting 1000 plus units. Seriously, this does not constitute a slow and steady. It's closer to standstill and never. Hey Turgeon, I forgot. What did one of the devs say about engineering back in beta? Engineering? Well, Yamex, they said, we don't want to waste your time. Your time is valuable. 
Yeah, that's the one. Seriously, because of the horrible exchange rates, the system is only good for, and by that I mean worth, to downgrade on. In general, first we need bigger lower grade material capacity, and more importantly, lesser rates, also fairer rates. Going up and down shouldn't cost any material loss unless you're going across the rows, in which case 5-10% to markup should be in place. Why? Well, this is a game, and no one likes losing anything, especially in this manner. Lesser rates will encourage alternative gameplay collection methods, if it turns out that you have this to deal with for hours on end. And this will also reduce the high impact grade 5s have on lower grade materials. Honestly, it's frankly amazingly short-sighted for devs to think that material trader, especially this one, will fix anything. But then again, what do I know of logic that even 8 year old would come up with? So I hope you get the message. As for you guys watching, well, do let me know what you think of the material trader and how would you change it. Anyways, let's talk Material Trader. A decent <coughs> Thank you, Mr. The Yemex, for calling the Turgeon Starstone hotline. One of our operators will be with you momentarily. Please hold. Your time is valuable to us. Hey there, Yemex. To refresh your memory, the line in question is We don't want to waste your time. Your time is valuable. Thank you for calling the Turgeon Stop. <laughs> Come on! Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh, well, there we go. Top notch buildings. Right? Mm hmm. That door does seem look so realistic there. Mm hmm. Yep. I can even see through it so well. <laughs> Come on! This model has been in game for how long? And you didn't catch that? Who was making these things? Oh yeah! Work it, baby! Work it! Oh. oh, oh yeah! Work it! Work it! Work it! Work that wrist!